KP Sky here. What's up, YouTube? I have something different to talk to you guys about, um, and it's a movie. And the reason why I'm talking about this movie is because I once watched this movie in theaters, and the movie was fantastic. I highly loved it. I haven't loved a movie in a long time, but I love this one. Um, I also bought it on DVD and watched it last night on my theater. And before I tell you what movie it is, um, leave me a comment below answering this question. Have you ever gone to a movie theater and knew that that movie would sound better in your home theater than the movie theater itself? Answer that below, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. My answer is absolutely, and this is one of the movies that I thought would sound amazing in my system. And that movie is The Quiet Place, or A Quiet Place, I should say. A Quiet Place is a really good movie. I'm not going to say too much about it because it's relatively new. I just dropped it. It's relatively new, so I don't want to say too much about it for those who haven't seen it, which is probably a, a vast majority of you guys. Go see this movie. Um, I got this at Walmart, Blu-ray version, for $14.96, 15 something after tax. Um, but get the 4K version. I was cheap. I didn't want to get the 4K version. I'm trying to keep some money in my pocket. But get the 4K version if you have all the means to watch it on. Um, 4K television. Um, your receiver has to be compatible, things like that. Um, I got the Blu-ray version to save money, but get the 4K version because it has um, HDR, Dolby Vision, it has Dolby Atmos, and uh, something else that was, uh, you just you just gotta get it. You just have to get it. It just has that 4K picture. Uh, yes, yeah, what, this 4K picture, this is 1080, um, and then it has Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. So, um, this movie is incredible sounding on a full Dolby Atmos setup. Oh my gosh. It smashed the local movie theater down the street. It, it was amazing. This is hands down one of the best movies to subwoofer demo with. Oh my gosh. The LFE tracks, the sound engineers that put the tracks together, they must be bass fanatics because everything in this movie that rumbled was super low. I'm talking sub 30. 23 hertz, 22 hertz, and not just a quick burst of sound there and sound there, like full on rumbles. And I was watching this at 12 at night, so it's at a moderately low volume, but my subs were rattling everything. Rattle I'm actually, I was wondering what it was rattling because most things in here, it's just a desk, uh, the speakers are hanging from the ceiling. There's nothing that really rattles, no picture frames or anything like that, just these, but they're sitting on um, adhesive strips. So I'm, I was curious what was rattling. I'm pretty sure the kitchen, which is just behind this wall a little bit, I think the glass in the kitchen was rattling. If you're interested in seeing a demo in the daytime, I might play some uh, some scenes and let you guys listen to what the subwoofer is doing. But this movie, A Quiet Place, hands down, is one of the best movies to subwoofer demo with. It sounded amazing. Super low frequencies, um, chest pounding, super chest pounding. Um, this will really tell you if your subwoofers are placed right, if they're in phase, if the volume is set right. This will tell you all of that because you're not going to feel what you're supposed to feel otherwise. I felt everything. I was super pleased and I didn't hear any of this in the movie theater. Also, this Dolby Atmos sound on this movie is fantastic too. There is a predator that I'm not going to talk too much about. There is a predator on this movie. Um, it's rather large and they move very slowly to listen, but they step very heavily and a lot of it was always above head. It was always above you for the most part and they stood taller than you as well. And so the sound engineers put a lot of, of focus on the Dolby Atmos because having that monster walk above you was amazing. It was amazing. They did it perfectly. I could easily tell if it was coming from the front left or just completely the front speakers were on or maybe it was the back right speaker. It sounded fantastic. So not only were you getting Dolby Atmos with every footstep, you're getting it with the low frequency effects, the LFE track in the movie as well. So you're getting an overhead experience plus you're getting hit in the chest by the thud that the monster makes when he walks or when he he growls or when he fights you, things like that. So this movie, hands down, first off, it's a fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. If you like suspense, not too much horror, 
but more suspenseful uh, thriller, so to speak. If you like movies like this, grab this. Grab this. It's not too expensive. If you can get the 4K version, get the 4K version for the um, extreme quality of picture. It just get the best if you can get the best. I wish I got 4K, but nonetheless, my TV upscales and so does my receiver. So it, sound, it sounded and looked as good as 4K. So as good as 4K. But I just wanted to show you um, this, this video, this movie with you guys. This movie, if you want to hear something <laughs> rattle your system, if you want to see what your system can do, get this movie, play it immediately. Crank it up. If you're using external amplifier, this movie will also show how much power your amplifier can give to your speakers. This is the first movie that I've watched um, on the Monolith 7. Uh, minus the little demos I did for you guys. I did a few um, trailer demos just to get some sound going through. But this is the first time I've actually sat down and watched the movie on the system. And I am beyond appalled. I don't know if I'm more impressed with my new monolith amplifier or my current Polk Audio speakers. They're, they're alive. <laughs> they are finally alive with that extra juice. Um, so with that being said, there will be an in-depth review final opinion kind of so to speak of the monolith um, I postponed it from last week to probably this week because I wanted to get down and dirty with it and this movie helped a lot so check out a quiet place it's cheaper online if you get it from Amazon or eBay get it used people usually just watch a, a disc and sell it it's usually an, I've always got my DVDs used for 4k so they're like five to ten dollars instead of twenty to thirty dollars so check their online, get it used. They're going to be, they're going to be in good condition. Um, I've never had anybody send me a disc that wasn't what was supposed to be inside the case. And you, you guys have seen my movies. I have about 50 or 60 Blu-rays, 4K movies. So I've bought 50 or 60 movies online and I've, they've always come as, as intended. So check this movie out. This will test your system for sure. It will test your subs for sure. If you're sitting there and you're not amazed, if you don't feel anything in your chest, one of two things is wrong. One, your placement, your setup, your configuration is not quite there, or your speakers just aren't good enough, and that's just how it is. So check this movie out, A Quiet Place, really good movie. If just watch it just to watch it. It's a really good movie. You will enjoy it, I promise. But leave me down a comment below and tell me, um, have you ever been to the movie theater and thought, hmm, this movie would sound so much better on my system. And if so, what movie was it? Leave me a comment below, and I'll definitely be chatting with you guys to talk about it. So enjoy y'all's night. It is nighttime here, as you can see. Enjoy your night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace, guy out.